Hello friends. Welcome back to my channel Calibration Academy. If you are new on this channel, and if you have missed our previous videos related to control valves, you can find link in the description box to watch these videos. And if you have not subscribed our channel yet, then please subscribe our channel, and press bell icon to get notifications, when we post video on the channel. In the world of industrial automation, precise control is key. And at the heart of this control lies the control valve actuator, a vital component in regulating fluid flow. So, in today's video, I'm going to explain, what is an actuator? And different types of control valve actuator based on motion, and based on energy source. First of all, let's learn, what is an actuator in control valve? A control valve actuator is a device used to operate a control valve, which is a critical component in various industrial processes. The actuator is responsible for moving the valve's closure element, such as a plug, ball, or disc, to control the flow of fluid through the valve. The actuator receives a control signal from a process controller or automation system, and converts it into mechanical motion to position the valve accordingly. Control valve actuators can be broadly categorized into two main types. First category is based on motion. Based on motion, there are two main types of actuators. First type is linear actuator. And second type is rotary actuator. Second category is based on energy sources. There are four different types of actuators based on energy sources. First type is pneumatic actuator. Second type is electric actuator. Third type is hydraulic actuator. Fourth type is electrohydraulic actuator. First of all, let's learn about linear actuator and rotary actuator. As name suggest, linear actuators produce linear motion, which is used to operate linearly controlled valves such as globe valves. And they are designed to move the valve stem in a straight line, either pushing or pulling the closure element to modulate the flow. Linear actuators are typically used for applications that require precise control, and moderate to high thrust forces. On the other side, rotary actuators produce rotational motion, which is used to operate rotary control valves such as butterfly valves, ball valves, or plug valves. They convert the control signal into rotary motion to open, close, or modulate the valve's position. Rotary actuators are commonly used for applications that require quick response, high-speed operation, and 90-degree or multi-turn rotation. The actuators can be powered by various energy sources, leading to different types of control valve actuators. First type is pneumatic actuator. Pneumatic actuators use compressed air as the energy source. They rely on air pressure differentials to create the necessary force and motion to operate the control valve. Pneumatic actuators are widely used due to their simplicity, reliability, and suitability for hazardous or explosive environments. Second type of actuator is electric actuator. Electric actuators utilize electrical energy to generate the required motion. They often incorporate an electric motor that drives the valve stem or a gearbox to convert the rotary motion into linear motion. Electric actuators offer precise control, positional feedback, and the ability to integrate with automation systems. Third type of actuator is hydraulic actuators. Hydraulic actuators use hydraulic fluid under pressure to generate the necessary force and motion. And they are capable of providing high thrust forces and precise control, making them suitable for large valves or applications with high pressure differentials. Hydraulic actuators often require a hydraulic power source, such as a pump or accumulator. Fourth type of actuator is electrohydraulic actuators. Electrohydraulic actuators combine electrical and hydraulic principles. And they use electrical power to control a hydraulic system, typically a hydraulic pump, which then powers the actuator to move the valve. Electrohydraulic actuators provide the benefits of both electrical control and hydraulic force. Thank you, friends, for watching this video. Please give us your valuable feedback in comment box. And if you have any questions about this video, then please feel free to ask me your questions in comment box. 
And please like and share this video with your friends if you think our content is informative for you and others.